Well, I suppose it's time to move on to the next chapter, though. I suppose I can drop a save first. After all, that's usually a good idea every now and again. Nope, moving on. Hey, so what are we gonna do now? The prisoners are coming to get us, right? Well, obviously we beat the crap out of all of them. It's none of your business, so stay out of it. Just lie down and sleep here. Forever. This is totally my business. This is my dream. So, what's the plan? There's only one thing to do. We must defeat that pseudo-warden and stand up for the real warden who fought with us and died honorably. <laughs> but it is the real warden. He didn't even stop to think that the warden might actually be alive and is planning to get revenge on us. His undemon-like, undoubting heart is also one of Lord Valvatoris's formidable powers. And a massive problem. In any case, whether he's real or fake, he certainly has the support of some hidden force behind him. Indeed. Only the President would be able to grant such a prize as pardons to prisoners of Hades. I concur. Could the power behind him possibly be... Who is it? Tell me! The President? I must plan accordingly. Oh, great. Show up at the last minute, huh? Episode three. Oh, please. We're way too early to have entered the final weapon stage. At any rate, I suppose we should keep moving on. Yes, the reports, huh? Oh, and what's that? Oh, it's necessary, huh? One academy member has been added to the menu. To various jobs. Okay, and what's this do? The most points added to its stats when it levels up will increase. Gotcha. Special effects by connecting to the network. Ugh, I don't really care. Other user senates. Gotcha. Ugh. That sounds like a bad thing. But does it to approach them when they arrive? The defense minister, eh? The support. For summon characters from other users' worlds. Jeez. Ugh. I don't really care for that at all. Isn't that a bit sad? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm not really worried about a defense minister at the moment. After all, none of my characters are strong enough to make it worth their time to go help anyone else out. 120, huh? Well, that's nice. I didn't even catch that part about Rosen Queen. Damn. Maybe there's a new area they added. Like a new building I can construct if I get the bill passed. Problem is, I don't want to deal with that right now. Yes, enter the final weapon. The Murder Labyrinth. Hmm. Is anything like Pan's Labyrinth? Is it full of goblins? Let's kill him and get out of here. Oh, please. I can't believe I can win my freedom just by killing those weak-looking fools. <laughs> oh, I might look weak, but I totally kick butt. Let's kill those biatches. Kill, kill, and kill. Ugh. Getting some swearing in there, huh? Damn, do you hear how they keep saying kill? It's very prisoner of Hades like. Is it? That's precisely what they are. If you keep acting like you're in a dream, you're going to get yourself killed. How can you die if you're already dead? <laughs> I'm putting an end to your depraved and insolent 
Oh gosh darn, my headset's running out of power. We're gonna have to make this one fast. I'll get rid of you and finally clear myself of everything you blamed on me. You show your face to us. You fake wannabe warden Axel! <laughs> you idiot! Do you really think there could be two people who look as stunning as I do in the universe? Well, considering there's ninjas out there, yeah, yeah, I do. What? You're real? Why are you fighting us? Have you forgotten the days we used to scramble around the battlefield together? But comrades, who wants your back? You're not my comrade. You can't just sugarcoat your memories of me like that. Fate has made us enemies. There's only one person I can consider to be my comrade. And who's that? The president? The son of the president. His name is Sir Death Demiso. Seriously? The president's son again? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I guess I was expecting a crazier twist. Uh, your apologies are pissing me off even more. Well then, do something about it. Anyway, you two are surely exceeding your authoritative powers by promising to give these prisoners pardons. I find it very hard to believe that failures like you are entrusted with such power by the Corruptament. What do you say about that? Huh? Well? Well, I'll use my connections. Failures? That's not how they acted in front of us. But they don't look like they can actually grant us pardons. Did they? Well, they are demons. No, no way. You will be granted pardons. It's an official promise by Sir Measel, the president's son. Don't listen to them. Hey, Warden, are you sure we should really promise them that without my pop's consent? Will approve the pardons to reward them for stopping the anarchists. You'll let all my store around and you'll probably even get a promotion. I seriously oh, doubt that. Okay, let's do it. As our president's only son, I promise that you will be pardoned. Now go put down those anarchists. Oh, I'm sure he's got a secret son somewhere. Who's less of a disappointment? <sighs> mouth of yours for much longer. Oh, I'm sure he will be. Although their powers are restricted here, these prisoners are the most brutal criminals in the netherworld. You guys are history. Fighting against a former comrade. I remember. It's delicious. You leave me no choice. I will simply have to give you a sound and decisive beating. <laughs> And thus, Hades' most epic battle was underway. Epic? This battle developed into a significant event that eventually altered the very future and destiny of the Netherworld. Well, now, shall we get to it? Oh, jeez. Got a lot of them out there, don't we? Damn. Oh, attack plus 50, huh? Here I come. Problem is, I can't stay here. Though, I guess I should try to uh, take him out from distance next time. Um. Time to bust 
some balls. Here Would I you come. stop saying that? Jeez. Your obsession's getting annoying. And damn, that throw sucked. I can do anything in my dream. Yeah, now shut up about being a dream. Okay, swift punch. Ah, darn, it's not good enough to take it out, though. Man, that was lengthy. Well, moving through with units, huh? Whatever works for you, I guess. Probably should have some people move here. Okay, we'll put you back. Um, let's lift and throw your sorry butt. Impaler Prince. Hopefully we don't miss the middle one. Because I'd like to take them out. Ah, oh, darn, he survived. Okay. Let's just take you out. And skip that animation because it takes too damn long. And then turn because there's nothing else we can do. Man, they really want to mess her up, don't they? Ow. Jeez, they just keep coming. Um, put you back, I guess. Well, I can't really do much about that lot, unfortunately. Gosh darn it. Let's just move over here, I guess. And that animation, and uh, can I go this way? Okay, I guess not. Okay, blade rush them, remove them from the battlefield, and you know, look forward to what's coming next, I guess. Oh, jeez. Everyone wants to be in a freaking annoyance in my p here, don't they? Oh sweet, I can just move forward one now. Right. And take out this entire blade lot. Okay. Well, guess we'll end turn now. Gosh darn it. Um, let's see. Well, throw you, I guess. And go for a slash attack. Well, I really need to finish this quickly, because... Gosh darn, my headset's gotta be getting even closer being out. Don't go that way. Damn you. Engage me over here, will ya? Well, I have energy, so I can't do that. Okay. Try and lure you into a trap, I guess. Well, good. They're lined up appropriately for me. Oh, you're not going to come closer? Whatever. As long as I can finish this relatively soon, right? Ow. Come on, get involved, other thief. Seriously. Sweet. Okay. Let's uh, just cut you down the size. And I don't know what to do there besides a uh, waste of my time, I guess. 
Wish I had a range cutting spell here. Well, we can try and lure her in, I suppose. Now we can go for the throw, right? Lift, throw, get over there and just end this. Okay, I guess we weren't on the right spot, but whatever, just cut her down. Ugh, that took way longer than it should have. Well, at least now we can make gargoyles. you so please as long as you always keep your promise if the prisoners are able to successfully defeat us you better keep your promise and grant them pardons you got that what the hell are you talking about why do you care about a promise that can only be kept if you die are you okay that's my lord's strength and weakness you have no right to judge him. after all he beat the crap out of you now shut up you got that rascal Keep that promise you made, and you will learn the true weight of a promise. You severe pain. Severe pain? What are you gonna do to me? I will do nothing. However, you will feel it. What the hell do you mean by that? You're like totally whack. Hey, why are you so obsessed with keeping promises? Huh. <laughs> Intruding on someone's personal issues, as expected of a human. After all, you are creatures of egotism. Oh, spare me, Fenric. Come on, I'm just curious. Mind your own business. Ugh, what's your problem? Let's go. Our priority now is to restore order to this place. Is it? That is my duty as a printing instructor. No, I believe that is beyond your scope of responsibilities as a Prinny instructor. But I approve of this plan, since it would bring positive results. All is for my lord. <laughs> I imagine it would be. Oh, I've almost reached the target amount. <laughs> What's the target amount? This is all for the Lady Archangel who supports me, even if it is against the will of Celestia. And to stop him. Him? Him who? She referring to us or the president? It's too vague. Well, I'll do it for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.